September of 1978. Now look at the tail of the tape. Bacquadano with the four-inch height advantage and the advantage in reach. This is a feature uh, attraction of the evening. Tony Ayala. Ten rounds of boxing. The baby bull. In the junior middleweight division. 11 by knockout. Let's pick up the ring it out. In the blue corner. A former Mexican welterweight champion. Fighting out of Merida, Mexico. Weighing 155 pounds. Introducing Jose Bacchidano. And in the red corner. From San Antonio, Texas. Weighing in at 156 and one quarter pounds, introducing the undefeated, Tony El Torito Ayala. The referee is Richard Green. Ten rounds of boxing. Tony Ayala, the third oldest of the fighting Ayala brothers. 18-year-old out of San Antonio. Comes off a 10-round decision over Nicanor Camacho in San Antonio on August the 23rd. Jose Bacuadano last fought January of this year. 10-round decision over Johnny Hurd in Mexico. And Ferdy Ayala says he has great respect for Bacuadano's punching power. Yeah, as well he should, but Ayala's one of those kind of fighters that's so busy. He doesn't look, uh, he doesn't worry too much, therefore... Um, it could be an exciting and interesting first couple of rounds. He got dropped in the first round in Syracuse, but got up and it was devastating. That against Mario Maldonado, and he came back to beat Maldonado. The referee, Richard Green, the judges, Alan Adler, Larry Clark, Jerry Roth, Ayala, and the red trunks, Bacquadano, and the white. Ayala starts off slow, usually. He lets the other guy take uh, his shots, and then he starts working. As I say, it didn't work with Maldonado. But it's worked with everyone else. Jose Bacuadano, record of 29 and 7, one draw, 23 by knockout. And has come right out of Tony Ayala. Ayala right back with the combination. Good left hand pulled up by the right by Ayala. Ayala's devastating when he. When he mounts an attack, he's devastating and relentless. Uh, Ayala giving up four inches in height, and he's got Bacuadano with the left hand. Tony Ayala putting down Jose Bacuadano in round one. And he's hurt. Badly hurt. He will not make it. It is all over. Tony Ayala, stunning. First round knockout of Jose Bacuadano, who came out with a flurry. And that is Ayala. He is devastating. He is devastating on the attack. If someone wants to punch with him, punch by punch, it's going to be all over. What a talent. What a talent to come. And he's only 18. He's fought 14 times in the last 12 months. He now deserves a rest. And Bacuadana is hurt. He took that left hand. The unofficial time is 109. Duva is saying, get me Leonard next. I think Leonard's got problems tonight before he has to worry about Ayala. Here comes the knockout on a replay so that you can see the devastating power of Ayala in close. There's that hook, a second hook that's got him in so much trouble that he goes down. But that first hook was the one that set it up. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time. Here's the official time. One minute, nine seconds of the first round. The winner by knockout and still undefeated, Tony. Three straight left hooks as we just saw on that replay. And nobody can stand up to three left hooks from Tony Ayala. Looks like he threw them from all the way from San Antonio, those punches. And the official time is one minute, nine seconds. Round one. Bucket Donald still on his stool. He is slow in getting up, Dr. Donald Romeo still with him. And a look at Sugar Ray Leonard, who looks to be very impressed with what he just saw of Tony Ayala. He was reacting to the picture on the monitor. All right. Sugar Ray getting ready. As part of our undercard to Hearns Leonard this evening, earlier we saw a matchup of heavyweights, Marvis Frazier and Guy Casale.